What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys another short video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to make this Black Joggers Pumpkin Mask Halloween Tryhard outfit. So first part, I'm gonna show you guys on how to get the Black Joggers. So to get the Black Joggers, you will need to pull up your interaction menu. Go ahead and go to services, go to mobile operation center, and just request your MOC. Once you have done this, you can then just hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will most likely spawn right here. Once your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna to wanna to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit run on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Now that you've made it to the clothing store and you are wearing the black joggers, now I'm going to show you guys on how to make the outfit in the thumbnail. So just head over here to the top section, scroll down until you find utility tops on slot 52, and you're going to look for the black battle vest on slot 34. After you have equipped the black battle vest, you can now just back out of the tops. We don't have to worry about the pants since we already do have the black joggers. Head over here to your accessories, go to scarfs, which will be on slot 3, and equip the black desert scarf on slot 2. After you have the scarf, go ahead and back out. Go to gloves on slot 7, and you're going to look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58, and equip them on your character. Once you do have the black desert scarf and the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to loafers, which will be on slot 6, and equip the dark tan buckled loafers on slot 7. And after you have equipped these dark tan buckled loafers, back out of the shoes, and now Take off any head, head accessories that your character does have. So there we go. I just took off my character's head accessories. We did forget one thing. So go back over here to the top section. Scroll down to utility vest, which will be on slot 53. And you're going to look for the peach plate carrier, which is on slot 43, I believe. Yeah, right here on slot 43. So equip the peach plate carrier. Once you have done that, now you can back up the tops. And this is what your outfit should look like so far. So whenever your outfit fully looks like this, walk up here to the front counter, go ahead and hit edit saved outfits, and you're just going to, if you are doing the heist apartment merge, save the outfit on any slot that you want. But if you are doing the it's a G thing, which I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can bookmark that job, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. But after you have saved the outfit, back out of edit saved outfits, scroll down, scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13 and you're going to scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask whenever you do equip one of these outfits back up to the front counter now we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch 
When you have found a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. You're going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope. That's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. With the recent update, your character's mask does not come off anymore. But now you can just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits, and equip the outfit we just saved that should look like this. Once your outfit does look like this, after you did equip it, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does merge with the outfit together just like this. Now, we're going to head over here to the gun store and save the outfit. When you make it to the gun store, just walk over here to the top section. You're then just going to want to go ahead and edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before. So like I said, if you are doing the heist department merge, save the outfit on whichever slot you want. But if you are doing the it's a G thing job, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. Now that you have saved the outfit, you can then just back out of edit saved outfits. Now we're going to start up a job that's called Titan of a Job. So go ahead and hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, go to play job, go to Rockstar Created, go to missions, click on missions, look for the job that's called a Titan of a Job, and just start up that mission. After you load into the mission, you should see that your character is not wearing the Peach Plate Carrier anymore. So that after your outfit looks like this, you can then just walk back over here to the tops, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before. After you do save the outfit, go ahead and back up to the tops. Now pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. Now that you are back in a public session, run back inside the gun store, walk over here to the right side where it does say outfits. If you guys walk over here to the left, it'll say tops. Walk over here to the right side where it says outfits and scroll down to the Los Santos tuners on slot 52, click on dock worker, and you're gonna equip one of these outfits that has this type of vest, so it doesn't really matter because they all do. If you guys don't know how to get the Los Santos tuners, then I will leave a link in the description and I will show you guys on how to get the dock vest. But whenever you do equip one of these outfits, you can then just back out of the outfit section. And now we're gonna head to our apartment to do the merge. But if you guys wanna do it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description. So then you can bookmark the job and you guys can do that job from there. And it's just like Crooked Cop. But I will get back to you once I do get to my apartment. When you do make it to your apartment, go to the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board. And out of all the five heists, to go ahead and start the first one. That's called the Fleek of Job. After you start the first, or after you start the Fleek of Job, the first job that's going to have you do, it's going to be called Scope Out. After you complete the Scope Out mission, the second job that's going to have you do, it's going to be called Kuruma. And that's going to be the one that we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So once you have the Kuruma job available, just launch that mission. When you join the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. Once you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can then confirm the settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And whenever someone does join, you can then just launch the job. After you load into here where it shows your owned outfits, go ahead and scroll to the slot to wherever your outfit is and your outfit should look like this. After your outfit looks like this, just hit ready to play. Whenever you have loaded into the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Okay guys, whenever you are back in a public session, you guys are now going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you do find a car, you're then going to want to go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a secure serve or a motorcycle club. Once you have done that, pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club. Then go to management, then go to style and on your CEO style or MC style. Scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now hop out of the car and you will see that the vest does merge over to the top or the outfit just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and make the rest of the outfit by just going over here to the mask store. So when you are at the mask store, walk over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and go ahead and buy and equip the black bulletproof. After you do buy the black bulletproof back out of the hats, walk over here to the mask. Scroll down to Monsters, which will be on slot 17, and you're going to look for the mask called the Evil Pumpkin. So it's going to be right here on slot 84. This is only for the Halloween update, and it's only going to be out for two weeks. So once you do buy the mask, you guys will be able to keep it forever. But if you guys don't buy it at this time, then it will disappear after the two-week mark of the end of the Halloween update. So go ahead and buy and equip the Evil Pumpkin. Once you have done this, you should already have the Black Bulletproof Helmet. So now we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Now that you have found a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So you're going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this. That's how you guys know that you guys are glitched. With the recent update, your character's mask does not come off. So now you can pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. 
Whenever you are scrolling through your helmets, your mask will come off, but you guys don't have to worry. After you find the black bulletproof helmet, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. So now this is what the outfit looks like all around, and you can just go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this outfit. This is what the outfit does look like in the pause menu if you guys are just wondering. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. After you guys save it, that will be all. So I hope you guys did enjoy this sick Halloween outfit with the black joggers. I hope everybody has a great Halloween. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.